Hi guys and welcome back to my channel where I am finally going to show you how I teach Dublin to ground tie. So there's been a few videos on my channel now where everyone has noticed and sort of commented on the fact that I've taught Dublin to stand where I leave her and I can get things out of the trailer or I can put all of her travel boots on. I can stand there and change her rugs or groom her and she's not tied up. It's a skill I think is very handy, I guess. And it's something I taught her when she was young, when I got her as a six year old. It's a lengthy process. It's not something you're gonna do overnight. It's not something under any circumstances can you use treats for. It is purely a manners exercise and you start to install it in them as soon as you can and it's something that you will continue on through their life, I guess. Now, in a second, we are going to rewind to last week where I used Jordan's lovely pony, Lily, to sort of demonstrate actually physically how you do this exercise. But I thought I'll quickly run you through. So if this is like a notepad vlog, then I guess go grab a notepad or a cup of tea. Um, but basically starting, like I said, no treats. If you reward this exercise with treats and they're always just going to want to follow you when you walk away. Dublin knows the signal of being told to stand when I throw a rope over her neck and I will simply place her in a large space, stand her there and walk away. And every single time she moves, push her back from the chest, push her back. Doesn't have to be back to exactly where she was standing before, but she physically has to go back. She has to move back one or two paces, set her up again, leave her, walk away. You'll start doing it when you see with Lily just by taking two or three steps. It also helps if you don't have anything in the area that can distract them, like no food, no grass. That's always such a big bonus. You can start doing it when you're in the school, putting jumps up or putting jumps away. Stand them in the middle of the arena, set them up, stand them, do your poles, push them back whenever they move. It's very simple when you think about it. It's just something that you need to practice little bits every day, tiny little things, one or two pushbacks. Do not do this for half an hour and expect them to conquer it in a day. I used to do it with Dublin literally when I got out of her stable in the morning. I'd stand her, put the rope over her neck, pick up my phone, pick up anything, grab it and walk on and go. Leave it as small as you can and then build it up. Um, even to this day, sometimes I do have to move her back. She'll fidget and I have to push her back. So it's not something that's, you know, conquered in five minutes. Anyway, I will stop blabbing and let's get over to Lily and see how this is done. So here we have Jordan's pony, Lily. She is a Welsh D and she's 12 years old, I think, this year. But she's never done this exercise before. So rope over the neck and just straight away walked away. Now she's followed me obviously, so I'm not gonna get angry at her. I'm just going to pop her back and walk away again. Doesn't help if you've got a dog that uh, <laughs> causes trouble. And then again, she's moved. So simply I've just popped her back. She doesn't have to go back to the place I started her at. She just needs to physically be pushed back. Um, doesn't help obviously that she's found a little bit of the grass. So I've just popped her back again, big pat, and walked away. And she's found the grass, but that's fine, because she's not gone anywhere. However, I think I did just decide to move her out of the distraction zone. Stand her again. She's moved, and simply again, not getting cross, just going to quickly pop her back where she was because you know as they say herd leader you're in charge that's where I've put you Lily that's where you have to stand but notice that she's getting a bit better every time it's taking her longer before she moves and basically what you're going to do is I started now waiting for a really good stand to go in and reward big pats clever girly all done and that's all we did for the first session so that really is all there is to it. It is as simple as that. Like I said, you can't get angry. Just keep repeating it, little bits every day. And uh, 
one day you'll be doing the same as Dublin. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say on the matter. Have fun practicing. If you're on Instagram or you're following me or whatever, tag me in your stories, send me your progress. I genuinely would really like to see how you're getting on. It's such a good tool to be able to have. So yeah, get practicing and I'll see you for the next video. Subscribe, bye. Thank you.